Hello everybody, this is Yakes87 and welcome back to Life is Strange Chapter 5. We are leaving the dark room after we told David the truth and he just shot Jefferson in the face. So let's steal Jefferson's car. We gotta save Chloe. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find a way. Yes! Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. It's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Oh shit. We're gonna drive in the storm. Off to the two whales. I told you, I trust Limbo, have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those taxes? Oh, God. No, don't text and drive. One new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Nathan, I feel bad about it. This is like the whole game we pin. Oh shit! Did I crash? No, that's someone else. But the whole game kind of pinned Nathan as the bad guy, when really it was Jefferson the whole time. Who that? All right, I guess we're walking to the two whales. That's quite the tornado. All right, let's go. Let's go, Max. Let's go. Warren is at the two wheels diner, so hurry up. I can see it. It's down the road. Oh shit, that's terrifying. Shit. Oh, it's Alyssa. Alyssa needs help again. Alyssa needs help. Help me down, Max. Help. Alyssa, are you okay? Let me help you down. Help that shit, Max. Whenever you show up, I have to get out of the way. Don't trust yet. Ah! No! 
Oh shit. I just fucking killed her. Oh wait, use. Use the board. That's probably a smarter way to do it. There we go. You? you did it, Max. Are you okay? Now I am. We need to get out of here. Alyssa, you go on. I have to help other people. Okay. Well, I totally just killed her. And then was like, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll see. Body. Enter. This isn't the two wheels. How can I get out of here? Okay. There's a fire. Fuse box. There we go. Oh, whoops. It's dead. Electrocuted. Maybe I can do that without killing that guy. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Can I throw something at him? I want to help that fisherman, but what can I do? He's in shock and he might not hear me. If we can make it out of this, Chloe. There's no going out. Damn. Okay. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. I can't Don't fail me, fuse box. Uh, I'm gonna have to kill that guy. Oh no. Sorry, bud. Wait, I can, I can just go back in time and not switch the fuse box on now that I'm on the other side of the water. There we go, everything's on fire, but I can leave. Fisherman's not dead. Smart thinking, go me. All right. That's a lot of death and fire. Oh, there's the two whales. Come on, let's go. Frank's RV. stop the building from blowing up. So that's that's good. Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Can I climb in through the window? Oh, it's Frank's dog.
gonna go into the back door. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding Max. counties. The emergency broadcast system is now in oh, effect. Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. Yeah. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. I should have seen it coming. I'm so on. glad everybody is safe here. But I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Yes. Sorry. Let's get the photo. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Yeah, then okay. I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I started the storm. I, I think that the storm started, everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse, the birds, the whales, everything. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Uh, what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He, he used me. Nathan to get drugs and money for him. He tried to kill me. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Uh, Where he, is he? He's already dead. Dead history, which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. So this is my All fault? All this destruction is my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. And I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. And this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. 
How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle yeah. of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. There's the photo. Max, do you... Do you think this is the end? Hey. Be careful out there. Thanks, Warren. I'm gonna hug Warren. I could use a hug before I do this. Me too. What a nice friend. Better go before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Yep, go me. Saving the world. Alright, let's go. Let's go save the world. Stop the tornado. Save Chloe. Save everybody. To the night of the party. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Yay, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, we were in it to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Come on, Chloe. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you, and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you no. coming? Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson hurt me. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. I'm, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and... I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? Back in time. I, I was able to go back in time. To the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... It, you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you... You asked me to... End your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. 
I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... That's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but... Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. David saved me. He cares about Chloe, me. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Let's go find yes, David. you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Okay. So, I just prevented Chloe from dying. Now we're going to go back in time. And David doesn't kill Jefferson. Jefferson gets arrested. The two whales diner... No longer destroyed. So now it's just <gasps> Chloe and I facing the tornado. I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you yeah, back. Yeah, it worked. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. It looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Yeah, that's me. Just look at what my Charge of all the drama. Just a short time ago. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Max Even if you worry, fucking you're fucking That's right. could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I 
can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. This is stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Yeah. Let's... Look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. What? Chloe. I've got your back, Rex. Uh oh. Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film little oh, pieces no. of time. I'm what back in class. What the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. And I have our to sorrow. listen to this Jefferson Life lecture again. God, this might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like oh. totally haunted by oh. the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She what saw humanity as torture. What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. What the fuck? Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Oh God, blood. I'm sorry, Kate. I see you, Max Caulfield. Whoa. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much and we could be so happy together what the fuck who needs selfies when i can give you portraiture there's no way i'm saying that no way what the fuck My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. What the hell? I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles what I the want to fuck? expose. Why were those my only me? options? I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. This can't be real. I don't believe it. What the actual hell? Oh. We're back here. Kate. Oh. Is she lighting her own memorial candles? Hey, Kate. Max. How could you let me jump off a roof? You were the only person I trusted here. But you never really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Kate, I, I was only trying to save you. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Looping hallways. Key. 218. 223. 217. 218. What? Oh. Now I've changed clothes again. And there's more papers on the ground. Rachel. She was my what the hell? Angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. 
What the so fuck? Rachel took my money. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a warrant. Without me. How do you want to disappear? Maybe she wanted to start a total new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Before Rachel left. 24 Rachel Amber. She said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. No? Oh, what? I'm Victoria now? Uh, let's go to Max's room. I think my entries for the contest might be too good. What? Now you're totally stuck in the micro zone. Sad Okay, let's try going to Kate's room. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you said it's on record on video. Should I go to Victoria's room? That sounds that seems to make the most sense. Oh, I'm Max again. Okay. So I gotta look at the map and figure out which one makes the most sense. Let's go to Max's room. Because we got all the photos here. That means Max's room, right? Yay! So you should be how I used to be able to get no scams again. We're a little good. I'm just in the evil that I really hate. There's no way to be that. It'll go. Ah, yeah, you're a good push up, so we just need to get on the mountain. There's a little, 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 Uh, what? Oh, this is just like the... Everything's backwards. What's the deer? The bathroom. The, the bathroom. I'm so. Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me again. Max! No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Okay. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be myself okay. is in the dark room. Oh, he's right there. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. What? Maybe I'll wake up. Your spark, Max. I thought I could be your professor for life. Okay, let me hide over here. And yeah, he's gonna turn around. I realize now you'll never be an artist. Okay, go, go, Much go, go, go. Less a photographer. Come here, Max. Oh, there he is. Class is dismissed. Oh, is Max. Good. Oh. Whoops. Come here, Max. This way. Class I gotta be behind this one. Those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. 
I want to be your professor again. I can teach you. So Come on, Jefferson. Let me get out of here. Oh, I need to hide, 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 hide. Oh. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells, and I'm here to hide. drop okay, the go. mic on Max Caulfield. No, 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 no. Oh. Roy Price and Rachel Amber. Thank you. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Go, 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 go. There we go. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells. And I. More Jefferson, huh? What the hell Max, is going on here? Where are you? Oh, it's Warren. Max, come out to play. Come out to play. Warren, what the hell? Hey, babe, babe. Who wants to go, Abe? Go, Abe, go, Abe, babe, babe. Warren, you're creepy now. Oh, Miss Price can't just show up at Blackwell in a wheelchair and think we're going to accommodate her every whip. Come over here, young Max. You're my spirit animal. What the hell? I wish I could press a button and blow this whole fucking school. Is that David? I may be a dick. Yeah. But at least I'm honest. You just use your power to cheat at life. And cheat your friends out of life. Get over here! Oh no. I may be a dick, but at least I'm honest. You just use your power to cheat at life and cheat your friends out of life. Oh go run, 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 run. Shit. You really think Victoria's gonna be your best friend forever? <laughs> hey, she will always Pretty hate you! I ended up being right about everything. Shut the fuck and you up, end Nathan. up destroying the town. Snitches get stitches. Hey man. What's up, David? Please come Only here. Only a feminazi. So I can beat you up. Okay, we made it to the junkyard. Oh, there's Jefferson Holy again. Ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Those were Rachel. My beans, Max. Rachel. Max. That's Bob. Max. Oh no. Bottles. This might if be hell. You could have seen Rachel. If you took my there you Go away, Frank. And feel that. Bottles. So well, these ones are too hard to find. <laughs> oh God! They're literally making fun of the bottle joke from Chapter Two. That's amazing. Oh, there's one over there. There's one over there too. Max, you need to get when did I get like bad Rachel. bottle karma? <laughs> Want some drugs? No, Nate. No thanks, Frank. Let me just grab this other bottle. Is there one more left? Rachel, look just like a zombie modeling. All right, let's go get this last bottle, and then we'll have all five bottles. How about that? Looks like there's still bottles to find. Oh, joy. Uh, are we gonna go find the bottle? I think so. Down here in the sewer. On down. All right, let's go this way. There's gotta be one more bottle. No, I forgot, Nathan. There it is. Hey. Hey, Max. Hi. Max. Max. Please let that be the yeah. last one. That's the last one. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. We got all the bottles. Oh, I can I take need a photo. Proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. Oh, they all broke. Sad. Okay, we got all the bottles though. So 
the tab. And it's snowing. I'm very confused at what's going on right now. Snow globe. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here. I am. When your mom's oh in, shit! I'll let her know that. William. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wind. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come and pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to waste You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college <laughs> fund? Keys, please. No, Max. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting Hi, me. Hi, Max. Aha. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. Okay. And no Chloe and Max wine. Hey Max, would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. What the fuck? Dad. What the hell? My mind is all sorts of fucked right now. What's How going long on? Will this nightmare go on? Oh god. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? What the hell? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Booyah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's not all that. So who cares if she doesn't kiss me? Oh, you should have seen her make a move on me in my room. Hello, lame. Max should see me make a move on you. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. Okay. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh shit, look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. What the f I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. What the hell? Where am I now? I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Oh, fuck. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Is it 8391? Nope. 
It looks like it should be 8391. I don't know. Is it 4743? No. Oh. Zero three one one. It's on the the mirror. Yay! I are smart. I am good at games. Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California, I was happy just Honey, being your friend. I always thought of you like a daughter. So you this is how your Max friends gets to die. From my family. So this is how Max what gets her revenge on. Like I told you before, old fishermen never die. Well, till now. I That's know okay. I have been a new baby. Don't let the squirrels die. I wish we had been friends, Max. Please, Max, don't kill me. I thought you were one of the few we people can, I only have our teen session. I'm still a teenager. I thought you were one of the few people I could trust at Blackwell. I thought. Who? Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried, I to, tried help. to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. I do care. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? You were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk, Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh. You're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework. So you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. What the hell? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. Okay. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yeah, this yeah. song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yeah. You'll turn up. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. 
Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can oh. rewind time, Max. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized. I don't feel so super. Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome, Max. You better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel and the... Cowabunga! Why, look. An otter in my water. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Photo bomb! Photo hog. It feels like a diff... I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Wolf. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel was like this for Frank. I wrote him. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do. Whoa, awesome picture. You look so badass in our pirate gear. Chloe, you're back. I'm just. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with Rachel! No, Rachel, no, no, please not her! Chloe. <laughs> Rachel, what? Come on, Max, Come we're on, almost Max. there. We're almost there. Please wake please. up, wake up. Out. Oh, thank Sorry. God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. Wow. That whole sequence. My storm! storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it! And you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield! And you're amazing! Max! This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago.
You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... to... Fuck that! No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Here it is. Do I save Chloe or save everybody else? I'm just trying to take in everything that's happened um, so far within, within like the last 15 minutes or so between that dream sequence and everything. And, and it's like... The game is trying to tell me. Like, the game itself, the way it's written, the way the story is developing. And I've kind of had this feeling since I spoke with Warren in the Burning Diner that, and, and, and I, I kind of had a feeling this choice was coming, that the only way to fix everything is to go back in time one last time to before I got the time warping powers and just let shit play out the way it's supposed to play out. Which means Chloe dies. Which means everything that me and Max have done in this game up to this particular point doesn't matter. I mean, it matters. Max will go back in time. And she'll know everything that's happened. She'll know how things play out. She can change that. But maybe she shouldn't. Um, Chloe, just now, made some very excellent points. And some points that I had kind of overlooked up until this point. She dies. A lot. Or almost dies. A lot. And, and that kind of reminds me of... I believe it's the... Uh, the Final Destination movies. I believe that's what it is. Where... The people are destined to die. And they avoid death. But then wind up dying in other ways. I it's been a very long time since I've actually seen one of those movies, so I think that's what I'm thinking of. I'm probably thinking of something different, but it's along the same lines. If your destiny is to die, and you go back in time and prevent that death, you are always going to be on a path to die, and nothing can change that without 
fucking up everything, which is exactly what has happened in this game. Chloe is going to die at some point. Now, initially, her predetermined cause of death was to be shot by Nathan in the bathroom. I changed that. Go back in time. Probably almost dies to Frank. She almost dies to the train. She gets killed by Mark Jefferson. Um, so the bottom line is Chloe is destined to die. And then when it comes down to sacrificing Chloe or sacrificing Arcadia Bay, you're talking about t sacrificing an entire town and everybody that lives there. And this kind of a decision comes back to a quote from one Spock. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And with that choice, with that information, there's really only one clear choice. And it's a very hard choice to make because Chloe is such a powerful and awesome character and I have absolutely loved the opportunity to get to know her throughout the course of the game. But in order to make things right, It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Chloe. Goodbye. Max. It's time. It's the only way. Chloe. I'm so, so sorry. I... I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody. Okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. It's a beautiful disaster. I'll always love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!
Goodbye, Chloe. Nathan goes to jail. So does Jefferson. And then there's me. Bird. The birds. It seems like everything turned out okay. For all but one person. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done. Well, I could have done something, but it wouldn't have been the right thing to do. for the funeral. The funeral for Chloe. I just want to take a moment while this is going on. I've, there's there's no sound or anything right now. Um, but I know this episode went on a lot longer than I, uh, I had originally wanted to, but where I would have stopped the episode, we were right in the middle of that dream sequence, and it didn't feel right to cut it in the middle of that. So I decided to just make the the last episode to the end just a super, super long episode. So I, I don't even know how long we've been going for. I'll have to check that when we get into post. But, um, yeah. What in adventure? No, I mean, seriously, like, this game. I bought this game a while ago on the recommendation of my brother, and I didn't really... Like, it never really seemed like a game that I would really enjoy. But then when I started making the YouTube videos, I was like, hey, I've got this game. It's kind of story-based. I think that would make a good video, right? So I did it and then played and did the the one episode. And the, the reaction was phenomenal between everybody I knew and people online. And they're like, you got to finish this game. So this is the, the end. It's the finished game. And uh, I don't don't have any more thoughts on that other than the fact that I'm going to be playing this game a lot in the future. Probably not a lot, but I'll, I'll at least play through it um, another time on my own and kind of do more of the exploration. I didn't really... I did I did some exploration in the videos, but I didn't... like in, in an effort to not have a chapter take five hours to complete and instead take it like two hours or something I kinda just skipped a lot of the explorations. Oh it's Frank. 
He does care. Oh, Pompadou! What a good doggy! Oh, he's so happy. But yeah, um. But yeah, this this, this game, it's been an adventure, and it's one that has really like it's it's stuck with me because a lot of the things like like I feel like I can relate so much to the character of Max Caulfield in that all I want to do is help people and the people I know and I would do whatever it takes to keep those people safe but how much is too much what am I willing to sacrifice? Certainly not an entire town, that's for sure. Um, but yeah. That's all I have on that one. Um, I, th I, I definitely feel like I made the right choice at the end of the game there. Um, I know the, the next time I play through it, um, I'm going to deliberately make the other choice just to see the other, uh, the other way ending to the game. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and catch up with you guys after the credits and we'll go over the uh, choices. Okay. I just skipped the credits. Um. <laughs> Alright, here we are. The big choice at the end of the game. Me and 53% of users decided to sacrifice Chloe. 96% uh, David got a scar during the fight. 45% uh, David killed Jefferson. I didn't save the trucker. I didn't even know I could save the trucker. I didn't save Evan. I did save Alyssa. Although I did kill her the first time. You didn't save the fisherman? I thought I did. Oh well. Uh, you didn't change Joyce's mind about David. You didn't tell the truth about Rachel to Frank. You hugged Warren? Yeah. Alright, so those are our those are our uh, our choices there. So uh anyway that's gonna that's gonna be a wrap on Life is Strange. Um like I said, what a crazy, crazy adventure. And uh I hate to see it end, but I'm also glad that we did. Um, that that ending was totally worth it so uh, thank you guys for watching and I can't wait for the next adventure so uh, we'll see you guys later see you later